this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover how you can fix leggy ceilings and that too without using grow lights. Now, I asked a question online and a lot of you said you have the biggest issue with leggy ceilings and most of you don't want to use grow lights. And one of you said you live in an apartment, you don't even have a balcony. So what do you do? Let me show you what. You can grow your seeds and ceilings next to a window. You can even have a shelf that's movable and put your trays on there and you can put them outside when the sun is out. And you can use a cardboard box, line it with aluminum foil and put it right on your windowsill and that works too. So let me explain all of these in detail. Now in order to understand why ceilings are leggy, we have to learn about how plants work. Now plants love sunlight. That's how they draw their energy from photosynthesis. So when seedlings grow, they're looking for the light. And if there's not enough light, they're going to stretch to find that light. And that's what makes the seedlings leggy. Now, if you want to have ceilings that are healthy and strong, you have to provide them with enough sunlight. Now, we think if we put the ceilings by the window two to three hours a day, that's enough sunlight. That is not. In nature, plants are looking for at least eight hours of sunlight. So you have to make sure you give them enough sunlight so they grow big and strong. And this is how I do it. Now I love to grow my ceilings right next to a window so I don't have to buy grow lights and I don't have to spend money on electricity to run grow lights. So I have a shelf that's movable and I fill all the shelves with seed starting trays. Now when it's really cold outside or when there's not sun out, I just leave them right by the window indoors. On the days it's nice and sunny outside, I just move my entire shelf out in the sun and all of my ceilings enjoy natural sunlight. This way, I don't have to spend money on artificial lighting. At night, I just move the entire tray back into the garage. Once you give them natural sunlight, they will never be leggy. Now, this system works really well and you can put four trays on each shelf and you can have five shelves. You can grow 20 trays. Now, that's a lot of ceilings for a home gardener to grow. If you want to grow more, you can just add another shelf. Now, another way to fix leggy ceilings is to have proper airflow. When the plants are subjected to wind and natural airflow, they naturally become strong to contract forces of nature. So when you bring your plants outside when it's sunny and windy, that makes the plants even more hardy and strong. So subjecting the plants to just one hour of wind a day will make them hardy. So you can even use a fan or even a USB fan to do so. Now, if you live in an apartment, you don't have a balcony, this is what you can do. You can take a cardboard box, line it with aluminum foil, aluminum foil will reflect the light. And you can put even a shelf in there to have multiple layers and put the box right on the windowsill next to a window. Make sure you grow your ceilings by the southern facing window. Northern facing window will not work as well in the northern hemisphere. But in Australia, it will. This way, all the light that's coming through the window is also getting reflected from the back and the plant is getting dosed from the light in the front and from the back and that will help to make the seedlings strong and you will not have leggy seedlings. Now, if you live in Alaska or Norway or really up north where you don't even see sun all throughout the winter, that's when you will really need grow lights. Or if you're overcasted all the time where you live during the winter or during January and February when you're trying to start your seedlings, unfortunately, that is when you will need grow lights as well. Now, if you absolutely have to use grow lights and if you have no other option, this is what you can do. This is ordinary workshop light and this produces 4,000 lumens and this is a daylight, which is what plants like. You just have to make sure you have at least 2,000 lumens and guess what? This produces a lot of light. You can grow up to eight trays under this light and this is very inexpensive and this is LED light, so it also consumes very less electricity. Now, a lot of you said you have a very low germination rate and a lot of you have trouble even germinating your seeds. Now that I'm going to cover in another video, I like to keep my videos sweet and short and right to the point. So if you like the content, consider subscribing. I really hope you like the information in this video. You can fix your leggy seedlings and grow really healthy and strong seedlings. And I'll see you in another video. I asked a question on my channel and a lot of you said you have the biggest issue with leggy ceilings. And some of you said you don't even want to use grow lights or you live in a balcony. <laughs>